Do you think the language shift from safe, legal, and rare to shout your abortion helped people really wake up and fight against abortion? Or do you think the left started to shift their narrative once they saw the hostility toward abortion start to become more vocal? I think the cause of the shift of the language is the Democratic Party became radicalized on it. That, that, that in many ways, today's Democratic Party on issue after issue is captured by their extremes. I do think some of that language probably helped move public opinion. You know, one of the, some of the most interesting polling we see is that young people are getting consistently more pro-life. And, and yeah. that's different from historically. Look, you think historically young people, usually you think of as being more liberal on issues that, 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 you know, those crazy youth, that's like that. And by the way, our parents said that and their parents said that, like, that's the, this is, we're dealing with millennia of human development that, that, that young people often are more liberal in one sense or the other, but it is Marco, it is really striking that, that younger voters today are significantly more, more pro-life than, than, than my generation, than, than, than Gen X. Um, and I think the extremes of the Democratic Party has certainly played a part. I also think the advance of scientific knowledge has played a part. Uh, seeing a sonogram, uh, that plays a part. I think uh, I think the pro-life community and the pro-life movement was very smart and savvy in in waging a political campaign against extremes. And for example, I think focusing on partial birth abortion was a smart decision because the the act was so gruesome that, that people who were not really closely engaged with the issue, not paying attention when they when they confronted how gruesome it was, I think that helped change people's minds. No, I I totally agree with what you've said, uh, and in particular on the advance of modern medical science, and I think it applies to the language too, which is that ideas have a habit of coming to their logical conclusions. Knowledge has has a habit of this. And so when we're talking about the language of safe, legal, and rare, it never made a lot of sense. If the baby is a baby, then it shouldn't be legal. And if the baby is not a baby, then there's no reason why it should be rare. And so it w- that was always an unstable slogan that collapsed into, I think, its logical conclusion, which is abortion on demand without apology. And it's the same with the advance of science on babies and on pregnancy. The, the more that we know about this thing, the more people can see it, as you describe, Senator, the more we see, oh yeah, it's, it's a baby. And you don't need to have your nose in the philosophy books or the bioethics books to realize that it's a baby and, and that there's just something wrong about killing that baby. And so, uh, uh, you know, part of it was this natural progression uh, of these ideas. And then of course, uh, comes with the courage of these justices on the court. Courage is a virtue. It's the prerequisite of all of, all of the other virtues. And they exhibited that. And, and now we're, we're experiencing this truly historic moment. 